What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode in our NASCAR Heat Evolution Career Mode series. We are on race 7 at Texas. Our last race we finished 8th at Bartonsville. I was really surprised about that. Uh, we also bought the Pipe Bender, which is a 2% grip improvement. And we are sitting currently 23rd in the chase standings right now. Um, we still do not have a win. We need to finish. We need to get into the top 16 if we don't get a win. Um, or if we do get a win, we just need to be in the top 30. So I think we'll be able to stay in the top 30. I'm shooting for a top 16. I'm not going to count on us getting a win in our rookie year. Because we just only have three upgrades right now. But um, if we are going to, I think Texas would be a great place. I heard uh, Bristol has been a little bit uh, easier on rookies as far as getting wins go. And uh, a couple other tracks down the line I think we can get a win at. So let's see how we do here. Alright, so we're going to turn one on our qualifying lap. Just going to push it as hard as I can here. We need to start up front as far as we can. Last week we started 13th at Martinsville. I blew it within the first couple laps. Dropped back to 40th. But we ended up recovering. Got a late race green-white checkered. And we finished 8th. So I'd rather start up front and work away from there instead of falling back and having to deal with that. So let's see what we get. 32nd? Oh, it's not really what I wanted. Who got the pole? Matt Kenseth? Okay. Alright, so we qualified 32nd for the race. Uh, I will see you guys then. Alright, let's do this. Main goal, get to the bottom as quickly as possible. Without losing a lot of spots. Or getting wrecked. If we can clear this castle. Yep, we can clear him. I'll have a problem riding here for the next few laps. Or we'll go ahead and do that. Whew. I know we need to move quick because we have a lot of laps in this race, but um, also don't want to do anything to put our race in jeopardy. Up to 26 already in two laps, guys. Just waiting for these guys to get spread out a little bit. Oh, and there's some stuff going on in front of me. Don't wreck, don't wreck, don't wreck. Get on the inside of Biffle. See if we can't get a good run off. But you can see how much more horsepower they have. They just start pulling on me. Man, we get a good run in the three. There's old Kyle Bush just lurking. I don't have a problem letting him by. See, he's a lot faster, probably. See, we can't clear McMurray. Up to 23rd, this is awesome. Awesome. And I knew he was going to cut me off. This is what we need to do right here is just play it safe. Not do anything crazy. And I think we'll be able to get a top 10. And we're probably going to get stuck going 3 wide here. Nope. We're on outside of Danica. I think we can take her coming into three and four. Still there. Okay. Yep. I love running the high side in this game too. It's a lot, a lot of fun, especially on the bigger tracks like California and Michigan. I'm really excited about going to Michigan. 
That's going to be awesome. So 18 to go. We're up to um, 19th. And they're really, really single filed out now. I feel like we can pick them off and possibly get a top 10. And that's the whole goal right now. We're well within our sponsor's goals. But I feel like picking them and catching them at the right time and passing them is going to be the main thing. But it sucks because you can tell our horsepower is not as good because they really pull away at the end of the straightaway. So we're going to have to make some aggressive moves going into the corner like that to get around, guys. So that's going to be my main uh, weapon of attack is to run it in there hard into the corner, overtake them, recover quickly, and move on to the next. So. Man, Cobbles just took off. Let's see how far ahead these guys are. Leader's nine seconds ahead. And Kyle Bush is two seconds ahead. Wow. My god, look at Biffle. Holy crap, he just ran into the back of me. Look at this guy go, man. Dude, take it. Oh my god. Wow. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch these guys up front. Maybe if we hit some lap traffic, it'll slow them down a little bit. But right now, it's not really gaining at all. Yeah, Kyle Busch is three seconds ahead now. We've lost a second on him. And these guys behind us are starting to catch up. It's hard to tell if our tires are wearing down. So I've never experienced that in this game before. But definitely these guys behind us like Kane, Newman, and Menard, they're eating at us right now. So I'm just going to let Kane go by before he wrecks us. Hmm. I think we just got lucky passing those guys because there's traffic ahead and they got stuck. So I'm hoping again we'll get some lap traffic and we'll be able to do something. Oh wow, okay. Yellow is out. We have enough fuel. So we're not going to pit. Um, this is going to bunch everybody back up. I'm nervous about it, but at the same time, it's going to be good. This gives us an opportunity to go ahead and catch people. No, I'm not sure what's going on right here. Let's see if anybody pitted. I hope I start on the inside. Hope. Yes, awesome. My hands are so sweaty. Okay. Good start. Of course, you're going to start blowing by us like nothing. definitely feel like my tires are wearing down a little bit and Smith is going to really pinch us here. Clear high. Car high. 
Newman, come on, dude. Ah, uh, something's going on. I'm not sure what's going on right now. Because we are just horribly slow all of a sudden. It's like we found where we belong is right here. I just don't think our car is fast enough right now. I mean, I don't think we have any damage. Wow, cannot clear Newman at all. Man, just cannot clear Newman at all. And McMurray's gonna try it. Right before that caution came out, I was going to start moving up top, running up high to see if that would help at all. Right now, I just think our tires are playing a big part in this. Because I just, no matter how hard I'm driving, I can't do anything. Let's go ahead and move up top and see what happens. Unless they're just going to blow right by us. Which they are. So that was a mistake. <laughs> but I definitely think we did the right thing by staying out. Because we probably... Well, I don't know. Got me second guessing now. Oh, just a few laps to go though. Let's just hold on. Keep this top 25. I get so bogged down. Don't know if we can get back by McMurray or not. Stick, baby, stick. Well, power move. Don't get on the apron. Just one lap to go. Let's see if we can hold these guys off. McMurray got a good run off four. He's going to try something. Oh, here comes Denny Hamlin. Oh, he's going to try. Oh, my God, a few wrecks, man. I swear. I'll let him look. Man, he's just going to take it all. Oh, barely. Oh, God. Okay, we lost one, but... uh. Whew. Literally did everything I could on that. Probably should have pitted at the end. I, we probably could have made up more spots, but um, yeah, that was the best we could possibly do. Okay, do we get? Yes, we did. Awesome. Sweet. Did Junior win again? Who won? Of the 23rd still, didn't gain or lose anything. Race results. Let's go to results real quick. Curious who won. Johnson, again, that's his third one of the season. Our, our car is just not fast enough right now for that. So next race is at Bristol. Oh, points collector. What is this? 
earn a hundred thousand speed points. Awesome. So let's see if we can buy anything. I doubt we can. We need fifty thousand. So maybe next race we'll have enough to get something. Wow. So try the absolute best we could. Didn't gain or lose any spots in the chase standings. Finished twenty second at Texas. Uh, that was the best we could. We just need to really we need a faster cars, honestly. But uh, next race, guys, is at Bristol. I feel pretty good about that since so how we did at Martinsville at the other short track. So we'll see how we do there, guys. But thank you for watching so much, and I'll see you on the next one.